This is Irvin from Resilience Occupational Therapy. Today I want to talk about a few different shoulder exercises. Now these exercises are really therapeutic. They can really help out your shoulder for things like shoulder impingement, um, rotator cuff tears, and other rehab. Um, commonly for people who have um, either torn things or just feeling a lot of pain in the shoulder, having trouble reaching their arm and such. Um, I really recommend you seek out um, a practitioner such as myself to properly calibrate these exercises. They really shouldn't be done um, in isolation just on their own. And as far as frequency, these are going to be six different exercises. I recommend doing them only once or twice a week and in fairly low reps. You can really, they're really intense exercises even though they may not look like it. So in any case, we'll start off. You might want a towel. Um, you'll be laying face down. You can have a towel right under your head to support like this. I'm gonna have my head to the side so that I can talk, face the camera for now. And you can, if it's more comfortable, have some sort of towel rolled up to put underneath your shoulder, just like that. And it can be a thicker towel than this, if you'd like. So in any case, for the first exercise, it is palm down. You're at the edge of, the tab of a table or a bed, and you're palm down and you're lifting and holding for a count of three. One, two, three, and then slowly coming down. Now you're really pinching your scapula and stabilizing your whole shoulder. It's harder than it looks. One, two, three, and down. And one, two. Hi, this is Irvin from Resilience Occupational Therapy. Today I want to talk about a few different shoulder exercises. Now these exercises are really therapeutic. They can really help out your shoulder for things like shoulder impingement, um, rotator cuff tears, and other rehab. Um, commonly for people who have um, either torn things or just feeling a lot of pain in the shoulder, having trouble reaching their arm and such. Um, I really recommend you seek out um, a practitioner such as myself to properly calibrate these exercises, they really shouldn't be done um, in isolation, just on their own. And as far as frequency, these are going to be six different exercises. I recommend doing them only once or twice a week. And in fairly low reps, you can really, they're really intense exercises, even though they may not look like it. So in any case, we'll start off. You might want a towel. Um, you'll be laying face down. You can have a towel right under your head to support like this. I'm gonna have my head to the side so that I can talk, face the camera for now. And you can, if it's more comfortable, have some sort of towel rolled up to put underneath your shoulder, just like that. And it can be a thicker towel than this, if you'd like. So in any case, for the first exercise, it is palm down. You're at the edge of, the tab of a table or a bed, and you're palm down and you're lifting and holding for a count of three. One, two, three, and then slowly coming down. Now you're really pinching your scapula and stabilizing your whole shoulder. It's harder than it looks. One, two, three, and down. And one, two, three, and down. These exercises are called the Houston ex shoulder exercises. I'm not entirely sure why. I'm, don't know if it's named after someone in Houston or if it was in Houston, Texas or something like that. So in any case, you do these, I would start off with a set of three or five and just see how difficult it is for you. And we'll stop there and eventually work it up to three sets of 10, but I'd like to start with one set of five. Then the next one is this, looks very similar, but your thumb is facing the ceiling. So before your palm was on the floor, now your thumb is facing the ceiling and you're lifting and you hold at its full extension. One, two, three, slowly bring it down. And again, one, two, three, slowly bring it down. Like all of my exercises, they really start to hurt during it or you start feeling strange sensations in your arms of any sort, stop right away or at least gauge it and go slower. Two, three, and down. 
So you'll want to do start off with three to five of this one. So this is Houston two. And then for Houston three, you've got your palm facing down like in Houston one, but it's up above your head. So a little bit of an angle away from the table I like to do. Some people like to do a little straight out, but I think a little bit of an angle is good. One, two, three, and down. One, two, three, and down. One, two, three, and down. And now you probably see a pattern here. The first one was palm down, out to the side, and then thumb up. Now we're palm down again. The next one will be thumb up again. One, two, three, and down. 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 For the Houston five, you're holding your elbow facing the ceiling, your arm down, so your fingers pointing down, and you're rotating up and holding. One, two, three, and rest. Slowly back down. You don't want to be dropping quickly out of any exercises. It just sort of makes you lose control. And a lot of exercises are really about the coming back down after reaching your point. It's that eccentric contraction. One, two, three, and down. And you do a set of three or five or work your way up to 10 for that one. This last one is palm down and down by your side, maybe a little bit out, but down by your side and then lifting up again. One, two, three, and down. One, two, three, and down. One, two, three, and down. And I'll do one more here. One, two, three, and down. So what all these exercises really are doing is from different angles, you're taking your, you're strengthening the back of your shoulder, really getting those stabilizing muscles. We have so many activities we do where we put our hands in front of us and we do things and it just begins to um, strengthen the front muscles of our shoulders and not the back and that just sets us up for imbalances for injury. Additionally, once we're injured, it often brings us out of balance as well. So I recommend doing it on both shoulders if you have the time, even if it's, you only have one shoulder that's injured. You do both because then you're setting yourself up for better recovery. So again, these are the Houston um, shoulder protocols. They really are pretty intense exercises. They may not look it. I don't recommend adding weight until you've really mastered them and been doing them for quite a few weeks um, and then starting with a one pound weight. And I really do recommend having somebody who knows um, exercises well to be coaching you through them to make sure you're not overdoing it. I only have my clients do it once or twice a week, and off, sometimes that's just in the clinic, and I might say to do it one other time outside of the clinic. So, in any case, this has been Resilience Occupational Therapy, and I hope that you found some use out of this shoulder exercise.